Good morning, Good morning America. America. This is Wednesday. Bye bye. Today is Wednesday, March seventeenth. Have a great day. Have a great day. Mrs. Banker's class, thank you so much for welcoming us to today, Wednesday. March 17th. Can you please stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be recited by Arna, who is in kindergarten. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Arna. Well, many of you might be wondering, did the leprechaun catch me? Watch this. Naka, these are my friends. Hi. We can't find my mom anywhere. Do you Let's think go look for her. Maybe the <coughs> leprechaun bought her. We don't know. Let's go find her. <laughs> Leprechaun again? <laughs> Tied me up. Gary couldn't believe it. Let me tell you the whole story. So yesterday, the very end of the day, before Addie came home from school, I I was setting up the trap. I thought it would be great. I was gonna get him. I put him in our treehouse. Maybe he'd come. I hid some gold. Well, thinking that he wasn't gonna come until this morning, he must have heard how many traps I've been trying to set with him with all the amazing traps that you guys built. That little stinker, while I was setting it up, he swooped down, pushed me in the nuts, tied me up, sat on his little green chair, ate Lucky Charms. Worst of all, he told me Gary needed a haircut. He looks like a girl dog and he did this. can have long hair too. That's what I told that leprechaun. Thank goodness Addie and her friends were able to get me. But, but then she thought about keeping me there all night. I don't know. I hope that you guys had some luck. And if anybody caught the leprechaun, please let me know. We have some very unfinished business to tend to. <laughs>
goodness. Those traps were amazing. I loved all the creativity. If we didn't get him this year, we are bound to get him next year. But thank you all so much for your help. You are the best. Well, guess what today? We are celebrating St. Patrick's Day. That is the national day and our Wonderopolis those leprechauns like, I think I might need to get some for some good luck. It's why are four leaf clovers so hard to find? Well, check that out. Maybe next year a four leaf clover will definitely help us catch a leprechaun. Zoe in fifth grade had a couple questions for some NACA teachers. Check this out. Hi, my name is Zoe, and I would like to ask the NACA teachers, what is their favorite childhood memory? Hello, NACA. My name is Miss Garrity, and I teach third grade, and I want to share with you my favorite memory from this year. So every week, the students of 3D, 3E, and 3F are invited to Fun Friday if they complete all their work. So on one particular Fun Friday, we took a virtual field trip to Arizona to the International Wildlife Museum. And the um, museum manager, Miss Amy, she showed us some really cool animals. Take a peek at one of them. Hi, my name is Mrs. Lewis. I'm a third grade teacher here at NACA. And I was thinking about a third grade memory of NACA that I will never forget. And I will have to say that um, 3B and I do a dance party Friday, every Friday morning um, during homeroom. We start off our day by putting some music on and we get our wiggles out and we all get to show each other our moves and our, our sweet dance moves. So I would say dance party Friday with 3B is definitely a memory that I will always remember here at NACA. Have a good day. Hi, NACA. My name is Ms. Conway. I teach first grade at NACA, and my class is 1K. My favorite NACA memory would be having lunch bunch with my students. On Wednesdays, students can sign up to eat lunch with their classmates and myself, and we read stories together, we tell jokes, and we get to talk about how our day is going. It's such a great experience to get to hang out with the kiddos outside of class, and I will always remember having lunch bunch with my first graders. Hi NACA, Mrs. Benka, I teach fifth grade. My favorite memory from NACA was our talent showcase day. I had all three of my classes do a talent if they wanted and it was so much fun learning about all of their talent. Hi NACA, it's Mrs. Tom Zach and I'm one of the librarians. My favorite NACA memory is all of the things that you all shared during the morning announcements. I loved hearing you play instruments, sharing jokes, sharing design challenges, doing book reviews, of course, Pledge of Allegiance. I just loved hearing and seeing what you all do outside of school every day. Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Oliver here. I teach 1C, and my favorite knack of memory. This is so difficult because there are so many good memories that I've had this year. Probably one of my favorite things to do with my first graders is to celebrate holidays. We love celebrating holidays, and we always have so many fun activities that we do together every holiday. The other favorite memory I have is on Valentine's Day, I got to visit all of my students' houses and greet them and drop off their Valentines, and it was a really special experience for my students and myself. So I have had so many good memories at NACA, but those are just a few of my favorites. Hi, NACA. I am Mrs. Sullivan, and I teach fifth grade here at NACA. So one of my favorite memories this year was a Disney Safari virtual field trip that the three Teen Tiger teachers um, took with or embarked upon with our fifth graders on Teen Tiger. It was Disney's Kilimanjaro Safari. We all dressed up in our most appropriate safari gear. We looked ready to play the part. Um, I remember bringing some of my daughter Sydney's stuffed animals, her giraffe and elephant with me. Um, we had a costume contest after the fact, and it was really cool to learn about these savanna animals because we were studying animal classification systems in science. So it was really fitting and really fun and it was one of my first 
one of my first very fondest memories. And it was a great time to build that Team Tiger connection um, that we've had throughout the year. Zoe, thank you so much for your questions. I mean, there are so many awesome things happening here at NACA. One of them is happening this Friday. We are super excited. Mia is here to remind you to make sure you rock your socks. Hopefully you... Hello. Remember, rock your socks. Bye, Bye, Bye. Thanks again, Mia. And again, we can't wait to see all of you rocking your socks. Can you believe, this is hard to believe. I think it's maybe not so hard to believe for uh, all the grownups in your house. But one year ago, next week, the day is March 23rd, 2020. It was the first day that North Allegheny School District went to remote learning. The first day ever. So to celebrate the day that we have all went to remote learning, but more to celebrate all of you, us as teachers, our grownups, how much we have learned, how much we have grown in this one year of virtual learning. One year ago, I never even, I never used the word synchronous. I never used the word asynchronous. I never went on Google Meets. There are so many things I never did a year ago that I do every single day and I have learned through this experience that I know is going to make me a better teacher and a principal and maybe a mom <laughs> sometimes uh, forever through this experience. So that's what we're gonna celebrate. And you might be thinking, how are we gonna celebrate? Well, you know, we do have the best teachers around here at NACA. They have some awesome things planned for you virtually. So they will, I'm going to let them tell you what your class will be doing, or maybe they'll keep it a surprise until next week, but we will be celebrating virtually all of you and all of our learning. Alrighty. I love Friday features. So make sure you continue to submit those videos and pictures. Mrs. Oliver. I should have had you read this last week. I, I could have, maybe we could have had some tips, but our good night NACA tomorrow is how to catch a leprechaun. So make sure you check that out. Three great book reviews coming your way. One coming from Lily in first grade, Natalie in second, and Sandy in third. Check these out. Hi, I'm Lily from Lundy. My teacher, and I recommend the Diary of an Ice Princess books. Um... This one's called Snow Place Like Home. This one's called On Thin Ice. And this one's called Frost Friends for Edward. Um, I recommend these books because if you like fantasy and mysteries, this is a book for you. Bye, I hope you choose to read this. Hi, I'm Natalie and I'm in 2i. And I wanted to show you one of my favorite books. It's called The Land of Stories. There are two main characters in this book called Alex and Connor. They are twins and they're both 12. And they, so Alex really likes school and Connor is a good writer. And they're trying to save a wor the world from a disaster that's going on. It has lots of magic involved. And there are a bunch of fairy tale characters that Alex and Connor meet. There's Red Riding Hood, and Jack and Goldilocks, and Cinderella and Sweeping Beauty. And here's a map of everything in the fairy tale world. This is there's Rapunzel. Um, there's and this is the Charming Kingdom. This is where Red Riding. Is. This is the Northern Kingdom where Snow White lives, the Eastern Kingdom where she can be is in the Fairy Kingdom. So here's the map. And it's part of a series. There are lots of books in it. Here's the first one that you'll read. It's called The Wishing Spell. And I really like how they designed the front cover where they put some of the characters here, some of them down here. Alex and Connor are in the middle. I like how they drew the eyes up here, like they're watching Alex and Connor. 
I find this book really interesting. It's, it has lots of magic and it's really exciting. And I hope you like it too. Bye! Hi, I'm Sanvi and the book that I chose was Owl Diaries, Eva and Baby Mo. This story is about Eva and her friends have to take care of Baby Mo, which is Eva's brother. And Eva's friends have to take care of Baby Mo because their parents registered to a competition called Sky Dancing. And this book, and whenever the, uh, whenever they had to take care of Baby Mo, it was a disaster, and the disaster was really, really funny. So, if you guys like funny books, I recommend you to read Owl Diaries, Eva, and Baby Mo. Thanks for watching. Bye! Thanks, girls. All right, I got some jokes for you. Are you ready? Why are leprechauns so good at gardening? Any guesses? Hmm. Because they have green thumbs. <laughs> right? Good one. What type of music do leprechauns enjoy? Shamrock and roll. Oh, duh. And why did the leprechaun cross the road? To get to the end of the rainbow. Hope you enjoyed our St. Patrick's Day jokes with these leprechauns. And our community meeting theme today is about conflict resolution. So what does that mean? We all have disagreements. We always all don't get along and that's okay. Disagreeing and being respectful and having different opinions is sometimes a really good thing. But it's also important that when you do have a disagreement or an argument that you are figuring out a way to talk to each other to resolve it. So let's take me and the leprechaun for example. If I ever met the leprechaun, hmm, what would I say? Would I yell at him? Hmm, would I try to tie him up? Would I try to, hmm, what would I do? Well, if I wanted to become better so that we could become friends, I don't think any of these, those strategies would work. One of the best things that we can do is communicate, which is what we talked about a couple weeks ago, the importance of communication. I would let the leprechaun know how I feel. I would listen to how he feels. That big word that we've been talking about, perspective, I would try to understand his perspective of why he chose to do some of the actions that he chose to do to me. He would have to listen to mine. And then hopefully we could have maybe either agree to disagree and we could be respectful. And then maybe this feud between me and the leprechaun, maybe it will go away. Who knows? But those are the kinds of things that we talk about with conflict resolution, that we listen to each other we try to understand each other's uh, perspective and we try to come to an agreement to most importantly be respectful and kind to each other to move forward and that's what we are going to talk about today in our community group our community meetings so naka i hope you have a wonderful saint patrick's day if you caught that leprechaun make sure you shoot me an email i might have to come over uh and, and catch him and have a little maybe a conflict resolution. Maybe you guys can mediate that or be the person in between to help us talk. And I hope if anything that you have all the luck in the world because you guys are the absolute, absolute best. Bye Naka.